In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the ballistic pendulum. This is a good topic to understand the differences between conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. Uh, let's start with a problem. Let's say you have a bullet. Uh, moving with uh, velocity v, uh, mass 1, and scenario 1, you're going to call it. And then you have a scenario 2, you have a pendulum, right? A pendulum hanging on a rope, a box, a block hanging on a rope, we're going to call pendulum. All right. Make the rope a little longer. And we're going to call scenario two. We're going to call scenario three. And we're going to call uh, scenario four. So let's make sure I, I'm going to write all the scenario. This is scenario one, scenario two, scenario three, scenario four. Right. The bullet is moving to the east. Eventually, the bullet will enter the block and remain in the block and moving the block, right? So you see conservation of energy at some location and conservation of momentum. Some. Now pause the video. Uh, there, there are a few questions. Question number one, scenario, whose scenarios, right? Which, there are four scenarios. Whose two scenarios would be the same? Pause the video and uh, try to answer this question. Okay. Scenario one and two, scenario two, and scenario three would be the same. Why is that? Is because now when the 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 bullet entered the block, think me as if I'm a block, right? There uh, there is a time when distance between my body and the bullet is zero. And how long does it take for the bullet to go inside the body? Not half an hour, not one hour, not even one second. Almost instantaneous, right? And what would be the body's reaction? The body's reaction would be uh, body refused to move because of inertia. Body was rest, like to stay at rest forever. Does that mean the body will be able to uh, uh, stay at rest? Uh, no, that doesn't mean that. But body will give a fight. So how long? As long as the bullet uh, takes to enter the body. That means the scenario 2 and 3 would be the same. Why this is important? This is important is because, now pause the video again if you can answer this question. Which scenarios uh, doesn't uh, conserve the conservation of momentum? And which scenarios doesn't conserve the conservation of energy? All right. Now I'm going to put them in a blue. Everything in the blue doesn't doesn't uh, hold the conservation of energy. And everything in the green, everything in the green doesn't hold the conservation of momentum. I want you to use one word to describe why everything in the blue doesn't hold the conservation of energy. And everything in the blue doesn't hold the conservation of momentum. Pause the video and answer the question. Now let's go. Inelastic. And then force. What does, what does that mean inelastic? Meaning that this collision is not elastic. Why is that? Because one bullet goes to the body and if bullet comes out, it doesn't have to come out, even if it is strains to the body. Uh, some of the kinetic energy get lost to smoke, to sound and other things. Why the momentum doesn't conserve is because any location after location uh, three, the momentum doesn't conserve why because external force due to gravity because height the height any location after location three height is no longer zero any location after location three height is no longer zero very nice okay good now momentum momentum conserve And what over here? Uh, energy concern. 
How can you write momentum conserved uh, in math? Very easy. M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. If you write this, then that's not right. Because if you look at the picture, the bullet is only moving, but the block doesn't. Look at the picture scenario three. The bullet is inside the block, they move together. So you have to rewrite this one. What does that mean? V prime is equal to M1 V1, M1 plus M2. Now convert this one to a math equation. How can you convert this one to a math equation? Well, very simple. Kinetic energy at location 3 is equal to potential energy at location 4. Is that true? Yeah. Kinetic energy is 100%. Potential energy is 100%. All the kinetic energy transfer to potential energy due to change in height. So kinetic energy before is half mv squared is equal to mgh. And that's all right. Don't forget there are two mass. Don't forget to put velocity after. The good news is and mass must cancel. So V prime is squared is equal to 2GH. V is equal to 2GH. So velocity before, now pause the video and tell me whether velocity before is big or velocity after is big. Of course velocity before is big. Velocity after is small. How small it is? Find it out. 2, 9.8, H is 4.5. I did not tell you that. So velocity, let's say, the uh, mass of the bullet is uh, 50 gram. Uh, height is 4.5 meter. And mass of the block, 1.3 kilogram. Find velocity of the bullet before, velocity of the bullet after. Velocity of the bullet after is 9.4. Now come over here. What is missing over here? Nothing. So, now, we want to know the velocity before. So velocity before is what? V M1 plus M2 over what? M1. V is 9.4. M1 is 0 0.05. M2 is 1.3. 0 0.05. V1 is 254. 254 is bigger than 9.4? I think so. All right. So that has been the last pendulum. You're going to have more problem in the future, but uh, hopefully you understood the differences between conservation of momentum and conservation of energy.